All right, so one of the reasons that we care about the concentration of solutions is because solutions often have uh, different physical properties than their pure solvents. Um, so for example, here's a little question for you. Why do they salt roads when it snows? So being us being in kind of Southern California you may have not experienced this, but um, in colder weather regions before it snows or ice is over, <clears throat> they'll pu put salt all over the road in hopes of preventing um, any ice formation that could then, of course, you know, cause a car to slip off the road and then have a car accident, right? And so the reason that they do this is through this um, property, this colligative property, or this property of solutions called freezing point depression. And so what happens here is that salt water has a lower or depressed freezing slash melting, basically the same thing, um, point than pure water. So to help the uh, water on the road from freezing over, they pour some salt on it. Since salt water has a lower freezing point, it's less likely to freeze over, cause a sheet of ice, and then cause car accidents. Um, this is just one example of what are known as colligative properties. And basically colligative properties are properties of solutions that depend on the number of dissolved particles and not necessarily their identity. So for example, one um, particle of salt of sugar would be the same as one particle of some other molecule, methane or you know whatever, what have you. <clears throat> so again, this is going to be a plug and chug type of question. So here we're going to have delta TF is equal to molality KF, where delta TF is the change in the freezing point. It's called freezing point FP. M is the molality of the solution. And then KF is the uh, freezing point depression constant. Which depends on the solvent. every solvent is going to have a different freezing point depression constant than uh, anything else, right? So our question here is going to be calculate the freezing point of a 1.2 molal solution of ethylene glycol. And it's gonna be an aqueous solution. So our solvent here is water. Uh, ethylene glycol in water is just antifreeze. Right, so again, if you live somewhere close, you put antifreeze on your car in the hopes that um, you know, all the lines won't freeze over. The freezing point depression constant of water, that's KF, is 1.86 degrees Celsius kilogram mole. Um, and basically that, what that tells you is that for every one mole of solute per kilogram of solvent, you will change the freezing point by 1.86 degrees Celsius. So anyways, what we're gonna do is take our equation and plug and chug. So we have the molality, that's gonna go in molality. We have KF, that's gonna get plugged into KF. And so then we have 1.2 molal. And if you think about the units of molal, they're moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So moles over kilograms. And then the molal is going to be 1.86 degrees Celsius kilogram over mole. Mole and mole cancel out, kilogram and kilogram cancel out. And so then we get a TF, a delta TF of 2.2 degrees Celsius. Now we have to be careful with this number. That is not the freezing point of our solution. That is the change in the freezing point, right? There's that delta there. So it's the change in the freezing point, not the actual freezing point. Um, water, because we have a solution of water here, normally freezes at 0, 0.0 degrees Celsius. And since we have a freezing point depression, 
right? Solutes always depress the freezing point. We're going to subtract our delta TF from the freezing point. So we can write another equation or you can just think about this logically. So the freezing point of your solution will be the freezing point of the pure minus the change. Again, you don't have to write it out in terms of an equation. You can just kind of think about it logically. So then it'd be 0, 0.0 degrees Celsius minus 2.2 .2 degrees Celsius. And the freezing point of our solution is now negative 2.2 .2 degrees Celsius. So you can see by adding salt, we've lowered the freezing point from 0 degrees Celsius to negative 2.2 .2 degrees Celsius. 